Well, hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So, yeah, it's been a while since we've been out here, but you know, it looks like it's all pretty much right where we left it. Well, we got another engine to look at today. Uh, went up to a model show. It was the end of October, I believe. And uh, I met a guy. He's also a fellow YouTuber. And the name of his channel is Coil Motor Works. All one word. I'll put a link to it down below. But, yeah, I wanted to show you this. This is a pretty impressive, it's a hit and miss motor. But when I say motor, I mean it because it's electric. What do you think of that, guys? Impressive. I took this apart. I did polish it up and clean it. And, yeah, don't blame him for the atrocious woodwork. That's my fault. But, yeah, this is a... A very, very neat little motor or engine. And uh, well, you guys see what powers it up here. This coil is for a pinball machine. You know, you hit the buttons on the side, and the flippers go up. That's what it's turning on. So, got the power supply sitting over here. You guys can see it. Come on, get in there. Right there. All right. These coils are 24 volts, so uh, we've got it set, I'll show you, right there, 24 volts, so shut that off and get it out of the way, kind of go over this a little bit first, so I took this apart, and just the flywheel here, with the governor assembly, there are, well, let's count them, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven parts, all handmade, just for the governor assembly. That's not accounting in through here. If you guys watch and I pull these balls apart, see how that lockout goes in? Our timing rod right here. Yeah, it's very, very. Uh, I'm not gonna say fragile because. It's built very, very well, but, you know, like everything else, it has to be right. And, you watch when we get, listen, hear that click? Just past bottom dead center, it engages, and right there it releases. So you can hear that switch up here and watch what happens we'll bring it up to where it closes that switch now we roll it we've held that lock out it'll just sit there and coast see that ball drop back in yeah really really impressive engine um, he has made umpteen I don't know how many I think he's built 40 different models all using the same principle and he's got over 25 years in building these and working on them. But once again, Coil Motor Works. And he's he's a YouTuber, guys. You can watch all of his work. And yeah, a very, very nice guy. So I really like this, guys. This is, this is impressive. Everything is handmade. Uh, well, with the exception of, you know, that coil and the switch. He's built everything else. And I'm not sure if you guys would go take a watch on his channel. I'm not sure, but he may have something available for sale. I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, well, we got our leads hooked up. All right, we'll turn our power on. Before we run this, uh, I will, uh, I'll put a snippet in right here of how this engine was when I got it and how well it ran, you know, right from him. I mean, they're, they're nice. So you guys watch that. So right there we are at 24 volts. Listen to this. It is hitting and missing. If you guys can pick it up. Watch the balls. Isn't a whole lot of movement. But we 
we put it under a load, watch, it'll hit every stroke. So it fires just like a real gas hitting this engine. Very impressive. Cool, wasn't it, guys? All right, I'll watch it go now. It's hitting and missing. If we hold this in, it'll just coast. Open it up. I mean, it's this is something else that's kind of neat. You guys see that lockout working? This will run in any direction. So, yeah, a very, very, very impressive little motor or engine. So what happens if we uh, drop our voltage down? Well, let me move this stuff. I'll bring that power supply closer. You guys can see the voltage off there. How's that? So let's drop our voltage down and listen to how it changes. Hear how it's double stroking sometimes? Has to fire twice to throw those balls out. Now it's hitting three or four times. There's half of its rated voltage. And it's still hitting and missing. This is where it gets impressive. We start dropping it down below this. It hits every stroke because we don't have our lockout going. Let's see how slow we can make it run. About four and a half volts, guys. It's sitting there just ticking over. So. Yeah, a very, very neat little motor engine. So, all right, we'll speed her back up and make it start missing again. Overshot. Uh, let's see what happens if we put a load against it. So it fires every stroke. 
It is considerably powerful for its size. And we do have a provision here for a pulley. Let's see what happens. Let's shut it off. Something's stuck underneath of it. All right, we'll put it on top dead center. For those of you who uh, have problems starting engines, this is probably the one for you. As long as you've got power, it'll start and run every time. Very, very neat. Well, it was kind of a short video, but hey, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I really like this engine, and thank you, Coil Motorworks. Um, if you guys, like I said, go check him out. He's definitely, definitely worth watching. Um, yeah, nice guy, too. So, all right. Well, thanks again for watching. Let's get this guy. He gets to set up here on the shelf. He'll get to watch this next project that we're getting ready to do. And Yeah, it's in a box right over here. So we'll move him back. I'll bring that up. You guys can see it. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get started on that one. So, all right, guys. Well, this is going to be the next one. Look, this is new. And it's the kit. Well, what do you think? All right, guys. We'll get started on it. Thanks again for watching. You guys are fantastic. If you're not subscribed, well, I'll put a link right here. So, I appreciate it. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you here soon.